The Marvel Cinematic Universe is the highest grossing film franchise of all time, and with the recent launch of the new Avengers game, I thought it was time to build something from this universe. There are a lot of cool things that I could build here, but quite a few of them are out of my league. After all, I'm not Tony Stark. But after a lot of debate, I finally decided on something to build. The weapon of the God of Thunder himself, Mjolnir. This weapon is awesome, and of course the major trope is that only those worthy of the power of Thor can wield it. So the plan for this build is to reconstruct the hammer and put metal in the head and build a stand with a strong electromagnet. This way, when the electromagnet is turned on, the hammer is unliftable, but turn it off and anybody will be able to wield the mighty weapon. Let's get started. I'm going to pull on one of the designs from an existing artist. Shout out to Jamison on Thingiverse for the design. Link to the model is down below. The first thing to get out of the way is painting the runes on the side of Thor's hammer. Let's paint them a solid black and then go over the text with gray to give it a feel of depth. Now let's assemble the head. I'm going to put these conventional magnets in here, so it will be even stronger when the electromagnet is turned on. We're going to make the handle out of PVC piping, so let's get that fitted in and glued down. Next, let's attach the side pieces. Great, now we can spray paint the entire hammer. Now we can attach the Nordic runes. Once that's dry, let's finish the assembly. We're gonna wrap leather around the handle and glue this down. Let's also make a leather strip into a loop for the wrist strap and put it through the handle piece. Perfect, and finally it's onto the base. Let's start with this large slab rock that I picked up from Lowe's. We need to attach this 12 volt electromagnet to the rock. So we're going to use some construction adhesive, which is rated way above the pull we should be putting on this magnet. Next, to hide the magnet, we're going to use some river stones. It's all done, and the hammer is firmly attached to the rocks. When turned off, it does take a slight tug, but you can get it free rather easily. When turned on, it's not coming off.
I enjoyed this project a whole lot, and if you did too, let me know what game or show you want me to make something from next. I'm some bad engineer, and I'll see you next time. What are you doing? So, I'm really dumb, and when I ordered the magnets, I didn't realize that they were going to be these tiny little thin discs. So, I'm separating them and stacking them all together, but they all came with these little, like, like little ring things between them. So, I'm trying to, like, split the discs without breaking them and without... Ow! That. <laughs> um, and get the thing, the, the little bits out. But I'm running out of counter space to put the discs. And they keep breaking. So, oh no. <laughs> what, you're not interested by what I'm doing? Not enthused? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, now I have to add them all back together without breaking them all. Yeah, I don't know why you did it this way. Oh! Oh! oh. So I can pick them up with my fingers in between them, so long as it's not just like... Like... Those are sparking, it looked like. Yeah, I broke a couple. Oof, I got excited. Yeah, I didn't know why you were doing that. <laughs>